we have our data for our flight example in a convenient CSV file here. Uh, and so now let's take a look at just a couple of ways that we could load this data into Neo4j uh, without having to type each query out by hand. Uh, the first way will be to generate the syntax for the queries automatically from the rows in this CSV file. Uh, and then the second way will be to actually load the CSV file and tell Neo4j what to find in which columns. Uh, so we'll take a look at the first way here. Uh, in Excel, what I'm going to do is generate the queries themselves. Uh, you can do this in any spreadsheet program you like. Uh, but in Excel, what you're going to see here is I've created an ID column. That's just for my own sake. I'm going to give each query a different node name and I'm just using that ID column to come up with the node name. Uh, because you're going to run these queries one at a time, you could just call them all N, for instance. Uh, but I prefer to have N1, N2, and so on. Uh, and then what I do is, in this cell, I've typed a formula in the formula bar that will actually create the query on the fly by combining text. So you can see I've put in quotes, create, open parenthesis, N, end quote, and then it looks up what's in cell F2, which is the ID column value. So it'll put N1 here, colon, flight, in braces, number, colon, and then look up the flight number from cell A2, uh, and, and so on. And so you can take a look at this, and you'll see that what happens is, uh, when I run that, I get the query out here in the spreadsheet. And that's the query that will actually create the node for that flight. So we have 24 flights. I just copy and paste that formula all the way down, and you can see I have 24 queries that will then create all of those flights. Uh, I can do something similar. Uh, in fact, I've already done it, where I create the uh, relationships between flights and airports. So you can see here I've used a formula to construct the query for creating the relationships for all of the arrival airports. And then over to the right, I've created all of the queries uh, for all of the departure airports. And again, if you click on the cell up above, you can see the formula that I used to create the query. Uh, you might be saying, well, but you didn't create the airports anywhere. Uh, so sure enough, here they are up above. And there are just four of those, uh, so I created those by hand. So I just typed out the queries. Uh, but again, you could do, if you have a lot of these, you could do a fancier lookup sort of a feature, find all the unique airports, and assign all the appropriate values. Uh, but I just did these four by hand. Uh, so those are the, the four sets of queries. I've got the airports, I've got the flights created, and then I've got the arrival relationships and the departure relationships. And then what I can do is, starting with the nodes, I, I have to create the nodes first and then I can create the relationships. I can just do a copy of this cell and then go to my web admin browser uh, and I could paste it right into the command line. Now, the one thing to be careful about, it doesn't, it lets you paste multiple lines in at once, but it will not run more than one query in the command line. Uh, so they're working on that. It's just not a function that's available yet. It would be nice if I could copy all 24 in here and run them all at once. On the command line, that's not possible. But it's a relatively small data set, so if I wanted to, I could copy one at a time and run it, and that wouldn't take too long. Uh, that would, however, get very frustrating for a much larger data set. Uh, so, that's the first way that I can import data from CSV files. There is another way, uh, and we're going to take a look at that in the next video.